got you. It's He's me right. here. Hi, guys. Nothing's really been going on. <laughs> Nothing's really been going on, guys, but, um... I just wanted to, uh, make a quick little update with you guys. I just wanted to start it off after with you guys, cause, uh, as long as you guys know that, um, you probably saw my edited videos. Thanks to Fred Duncan for helping me edit these videos. Thank you very much, Fred Duncan. So, pretty much, you should see an edited video. A nice edited video. So, pretty much. I just wanted to... If someone decides to look on the channel, please just subscribe. I know that's like a soggy man. But please... Just subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, anyways. Okay, enough of the weirdness. So, I'm um, sorry for acting like an old man to you guys. So, as you guys know, three hours ago, we did a video about reacting to Jacob's new song. It was pretty good. Over the sweatshirt. Well, um, it... It's a good song, my friend. If you haven't seen it, you should probably go see it right now. It is a good song. It's called Hit or Miss or something like that. So, sorry guys for the hand view. I'm probably going to have to... Which for me and my... um, I'm trying to, like, find an editing app on my computer. But, like, something's wrong with it. I have something here. Sorry guys for that there, but um, I have like this editing software on my computer that I'm trying to get downloaded at least, but we don't like remember passwords because last time we changed the password was like two years ago and no one remembers it, so um, pretty much I can't get an editing app. I'm just going to have to get Fred to edit some of my, oh, a lot, the, a, a majority of my videos. So, as y'all guys know, I'm going to explain to you what is happening, why you haven't seen a video from me in a week. So, pretty much, I have just started school about, like, three weeks ago, and I've just started school. So, what happens is, Monday, I get down to school, and that's the first week you get there. And then on Friday, I get picked up here to the house this house right here so I can't record at my mom's house so pretty much I can only record videos here on my ch on my YouTube channel I can only record videos here on um, Friday to Saturday and about 140 on Sunday so I'm gonna go get me a drink because
Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for the two minute delay. I just had to go because I'm really thirsty right now. So, pretty much, Fred is going to start help me edit my videos. Pretty much. And I just wanted to make a short film. Should I make a short film, you guys? If you said yes, I'm probably not going to do it. If you guys said yes, I'm sorry, but it just takes too much to make a short film. No, it's just itching. No. So, I just did. Okay, so anyways... I'm sorry guys, I can't make a short f a short film. It takes up too much data and stuff. Um So last night I you know, I helped you guys ha how to make a successful corn snake cage. Um We're censoring grandma's face. Okay, uh -huh. Don't put me in any nuts, not body in there. We're, cens we're censoring Grandma's face. Um, from now on, Grandma's gonna have to wear a mask to go in a video. So, um, we're just gonna set the camera down right here for a second. Don't turn around. I'm not. I've got everything fixed for you, party. Don't start doing that. He is the heart and soul of the NBA's most exciting team. Warriors forward Draymond Green does it all. He scores. He passes. He also plays shutdown defense. You know what? That's a lot of pressure for such a young player, but that's the way he likes it. And not only is he dedicated to his teammates and winning, but Draymond is also dedicated to the community of Oakland, and it's a devotion that runs deep. Take a look. Warriors forward Draymond Green might have one of the biggest personalities in the NBA, but beneath his contagious smile is a humble, hard-working man who was raised in a rough neighborhood in Saginaw, Michigan. Okay. I wanted to show you guys my Hot Wheel collection. So one of them goes on the floor, I'm going to throw the whole bag away. Oh. Okay, so I just wanted to... Hush! I just wanted to show you guys... A short Hot Wheels mix collection. So uh, this is a Tech Deck skateboard. Let me show you guys it. And this is the front. And this is that. So these are one of those flip skateboards. Like you do this to it. And they scoot over. So that's one of those flipping skateboards that you have to tap. So on to the next car. This is a Hot Wheels truck. Um, it is a Rock Shocker. It's actually a Matchbox Rock Shocker truck. Sally and Metal. Okay, so it's a pretty nice one. Um, uh, this I know is a Hot Wheels. This is a, um, a 2008 Swamp Buggy Hot Wheels car, or, um, van, so it, it goes through the swamp, that's what I believe. This is a, um, uh, I don't know. It could be a Hot Wheels, I don't really know, but apparently it's like a, it's a, I don't know what it is, but it, I know it's a Jeep or something. This is definitely a Hot Wheels because it has a Hot Wheels label. Sorry, you guys. Where are you at? This is a, it doesn't say anymore, but it's, I guess it's a Mustang. Um, this is a Hot Wheels, like, from the Rage Acacia season. Like, let's see, 2012. These don't say anything on the bottom of the mule. This 
is a um this is a Volkswagen Brasilia 2010 car. It's nice coloring, nice and dark. Now this is a Hot Wheels car, but it's actually not from the original Hot Wheels brand. It's one of those 2014 Hot Wheels McDonald's cars. Like they sell them in the Happy Meals. I don't know, really know how I get it. So this is the Papa Wheelie. It literally sits like like that. And let me show you. This is not actually a wheel right here. So it, that's how it sits like that. But it actually has to drive like this. It drives like that. So that is a nice car too. I like that one too. So we've done that one already. This is a 2000 roll cage. Um, I guess it's like a Hot Wheels car, I guess. It's a nice design. This is a Hot Wheels, definitely. Um, this is a Quicksand 2011 car. I like it too. It has a nice spoiler. Um, if you guys have any of these cars, please comment down in the comment box below. So let's see what this is. This is a snow ski. It is a a snow rider. And I like it, but it's just not that interesting to me. But I do like it, guys. Um, this is from the X Games. This is an X Games car. It was made in 2008. It is a Lancer Evolution. I like this one because it's like a racing car, I guess. And I'm just going to make this video not the whole car thing. I'm not going to do the, all the cars because I have like a lot of cars in that packet. But I'm just going to do a few. So this is probably our second last one. This is a 2000 Arachnorod. It's nice because... Um, it's a nice car. So, I'm going to pick out a nice one for you guys. Ooh, here we go. I like this one too. This is a, a Bone Shaker van. It has nice rods out here sprained out, and they can deliver a lot of energy. I like this a lot. But, um, we're going to take this back to the bedroom. Sorry if you have to stare at a wall, uh, wall for like 15 seconds. Not 15 minutes, guys. Definitely not 15 minutes. So, um, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So, um, uh, um, I know you guys aren't going to really see a lot of edited videos from me, but when I get the, ch the chance to, we will edit videos. We will. So, um, I don't really know where the edited video is going to appear, so you can search for that. But this is sort of a surprise. This guy... <laughs> This is a Stormtrooper. It is awesome piece. It is an awesome piece. So that pretty much wraps up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do. Uh, thanks for all the support that you give me and my viewers. Thanks, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Subscribe to my subscriptions. Bye-bye.